Hello everyone. Let me say this, and I said this several times before. I've always said this when I'm about to share the Bible's message. I'm not a pastor or a preacher. I'm just a simple Bible student who's trying to share the word of God with those who want to listen. There have been some things in my mind as of late. I've been thinking about the moral decay of our society. A few days ago, when I was watching Fox News, there was an article on there, or a news story rather, about children who want to get sex changes. This is about transgenderism, if, there, if there's such a word. And society wants to normalize that. Now children are allowed to get sex changes with their parents' permission. And this is a very sick and twisted society in which we live. And this should come as no, no surprise to most of you, especially those of you who are familiar with the Bible. You know, the Bible says that we're living in the last days, so... We can't be too surprised at the events that are bound to happen in the near future. But this just seems to normalize transgenderism. This world has a very warped sense of thinking, a warped sense of morality, if I should say. This is not normal okay we have to start getting our thoughts as a matter of fact let me share a scripture with you all it's taken from isaiah chapter 55 isaiah chapter 55 let's give me a moment here And it's going to be verses 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and your ways are not my ways, declares Jehovah. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So we have to have God's thoughts on these matters. You know, true Christians must peer into God's word, the Bible. As I said a few moments ago, this world has a very warped sense of, of morality and, and thinking. You know, what's right is wrong and what's wrong is right. This here is Unacceptable. I'm I'm sorry for stuttering, but I'm at, I'm pretty much at a loss for words right now. I mean, it's, you know, this this world is coming to an end in the near future, and you can see it by the events that are unfolding, especially in these past few months. It, 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 transgenderism is 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 normal. You have a we have, matter of fact, I'm here in Pennsylvania. We have like a, a transgender. Medical director, I, f I forget that, that uh, what they call him, was well, a, a man by the name of Rachel Irene, who's a, who's a transgender. See, they, they see they're trying to normalize this type of stuff, people. They are. This is, I mean, that's very disgusting for uh, for the transgender person to be in, in authority. I'm sorry if that offends some of you, but that, that's not, that's not God's way. I mean, this is a very sick and twisted society in which we live. They want to normalize this stuff. And also, you all know the uh, God's view on, on homosexuality and, and, and abortions. You know, you say these, these people are supposed to be so-called good people, but yet they're killing unborn babies and, and people of the same gender having sexual relations with each other. And society wants to normalize that. And if you don't go along with them or you don't go along with that, then 
They'll call you a bigot and a sinister. They'll say something's wrong with you. See, this, this world is very twisted. And we have to, like I said, we have to continue to think God's thoughts. Proverbs 3, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 say, not, not to put, excuse me, not to lean on understanding and to trust in Jehovah and God in all our ways. But we're in very sick times, my friends. We really, really are. This is everything that goes against God's will seems to be normalized. And we we can't let that permeate our hearts and our minds. We have to stick to God's standards in the Bible. And that was all I just wanted to say about it. I just wanted to get that off my chest for a moment because that's, that's been on my mind for a few days. I mean, yeah, I'm just... I don't really know much to say about it. But. Well, if you like this video, please click the like button below and follow me here on Facebook. If you want, please share this video on your timelines. Thank you for watching.